All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. He is risen, he is alive, he is the Lord, he is the Messiah. Before we start talking about garbage, uh, I was watching uh, uh, the holy light which come from the empty tomb of Christ every year. It's amazing, beautiful miracle nobody can explain. Muhammad, in his cult, he deny the crucifixion, he deny the resurrection, but we have miracles happen non-stop every year. You can go and you can visit Jerusalem your own, by your own self, and you can witness by your own eyes, and you can see how amazing this miracle is. We are people who believe in God of miracles, not the God of Arabic speeches, in an empty book beautiful amazing and shocking because nobody can explain how such a thing can happen if you are not a believer yet take your chance and go to Jerusalem every year according to the Orthodox calendar in the Easter day or what is called the the Saturday the Sabbath of light it is so beautiful it is so amazing you can search for the videos you see in front of you on the screen and for sure there's old videos but you can find the new one which is a few hours ago all right and you can watch the most uh, new video about this uh, amazing miracle now we go back to our daily topic the three musketeers you know uh, in Islam Muslims they have you know their religion is built on three people literally three people or three person Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad if one is of them is missing, Islam will not be exist. If there is no Jibreel, there is no Islam. If there is no Muhammad, there is no Islam. If there is no Allah, there is no Islam. Which is very funny because Islam supposedly reject the Trinity, but all of Islam is based on three, not in one. Can Islam exist? If Allah alone is exist no never today we are going to examine this and we will look together at what this cult is about first of all you know we ask Muslims who is Allah and we notice right away how Muslims are in this ability to tell us who is Allah the word Allah repeated all over the Quran But sometime in a funny way as an example in chapter 3 verse number 18 it says that Allah bear witness that there is no God but Allah <laughs> uh, Allah he bear witness that there is no God but Allah Have you ever heard of a God saying, I witness that there's no God but me? He is not saying there's no God but me. No, no, he's saying, I witness. I bear witness. You know, when you say, I bear witness, like it's somebody you bring him to court and he is going to give his uh, witness uh, statement. So Allah, he witnessed to whom? When I witness, I witness, you know, and especially, uh, this is in the past tense. 
you see, you see here it says Allah bears witness this is actually it's not really accurate this is past tense Allah he said that already long time ago but who was he was witnessing to who always you bear witness in the front of somebody he have authority somebody is higher than you let us change the translation and see what will happen if we change the translator That there is no God but He, that is the witness of Allah. That is a big fat lie. It doesn't even say that. You see, when you change translator, the Quran change in a miraculous way. Amazing. You see it? Here it says Allah witnesses. That's not true. Anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that shahida is a past tense. Witnesses, it's as he's saying that this is happening now. He is witnesses. No, this is not true. He witnessed in the past tense, meaning. So now Allah who witness that there is no God but him. Isn't it clear that this one, the one who is talking here cannot be Allah? You know what I mean? How I witness, and I say, Allah witness that there is no witnessed witness in the past. Again, this is you see. It, it, let, us, let us keep changing translation. I mean, all of them, they are. I cannot find a Muslim translator. He have a dignity. And I'm very serious about that. I mean, all of them, they, you know, Allah himself is witness. <laughs> I mean, look at this translation. I mean, you see, I I thought my English is not good, but I find myself sometimes, I'm, I'm, I'm Shakespeare comparing to those idiots. Uh, Allah himself bear witness. I will keep changing the translator until maybe we we'll find somebody who have some dignity. Maybe. Eh? Not even one of them until now. Let us see. I'm changing one after one. Allah breathe, birth, birth witness. Allah birth witness. That's new. <laughs> okay. I will keep changing. Maybe. I mean, maybe. You never know. And then now nothing. Okay. Who who else did not use his translation yet? Allah maintainer of justice. What is that? The the bearer's witness. I mean, look. The, the 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 verses here is flipped upside down. This guy, I think, he was translating and he was practicing yoga, and he was putting his head down in the floor and his legs is up. So the verse coming upside down. He he he's translated from the end to the beginning. Okay, change the translator here. I, I feel sorry for the one who got his uh, his translation. All of them they are, but it is anyone who knows Arabic, it says this is in, pa in past tense. Until now, we could not find one translator translating it in past tense. Yeah, until now, all of them they are bringing it in, in present tense, which is very silly. I mean, yeah, but anyway, uh, but look what it says here as do the angels and those who possess knowledge. Allah, the angels, and those who possess knowledge. Who are who are they? Those who possess knowledge. Any Muslims? Who are they? Those who possess knowledge.
Anyone knows? Where? I mean, in order to witness for Allah, uh, I mean, how, how you can witness for Allah? You, you never saw Allah. You never met Allah. In the Middle East, there is a, uh, there is like a, a comedy show by a Muslim Egyptian uh, uh, actors. He made a movie. It's called Shahid Mashaf Shihaga, which means a witness who saw nothing. A witness who witnessed nothing. I mean, he saw nothing. So who is the one is going to witness for Allah? Those who have knowledge. Did Muhammad even see Allah? He never saw him. So Islam is is a is a collection of 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 crazy stuff. Look at the verse after it. The only true religion in the sight of Allah, not God. Let me change the translator. This translator is an idiot. I mean, I don't know where this translator is coming from. This is Germany. Hold on. Can't we find somebody speak? The true way of uh, peace. Look at this guy, guys. The guy he translated the word Islam. The true way, true, true way of uh, 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 with God is peace. What it says that <laughs> Islam suddenly became peace. Yeah, by the way, there's many liars. They say to you the word Islam mean peace. If you have my book, we explain to you that Islam is the opposite of peace. Let us let us uh, as long as we are talking about this. Let us explain to you. How they try to fool you between the word shalom or shalam salam or the word islam they are totally different words let us do some study here this is the word islam and this is the word salam You notice that the word in the right, which is Islam, let us make it in English here. We type it in English so you remember what it is. Uh, Islam. And this one here is peace, which is shalom. Okay, what the difference between the two words, the one in the right and the one in the left? I think maybe you can notice with me that there is a letter is missing. Right? This letter is not here. Do you notice? In English, you have something called like how to switch the word upside down, like known and known. You know what I mean? Known and known. Uh, fair and fair. This is exactly here what happened. Islam is not salam. Islam that you surrender to the enemy. You surrender not peace. It's a war statement. And we will show it to you from the Quran because even though like uh, I will change the topic a little bit as long as we mention this so we can prove our point. Chapter 49, verse 14, it says, What does that mean? Let us see. Let us see this. The Arab of the desert says, We believe. Tell them, You did not believe. Better you say, Hear the lie. You see, even I saw some Christians uh, like uh, they make the same silly mistake. Uh, even 
uh, once I heard in the ABN, uh, um, once I heard uh, David Wood saying that. I think Sam Shamoon once he said that. Uh, this is a, this is because they don't speak Arabic. Let us go. They are just you know reading the translation of the Abdul. Uh, let us go and change the translator. Just change the translator and let's see what will happen. We change the translator here. It says submit. Okay, we change to other translator. What we can do. Uh, we go to uh, let us see Shakir. Shakir he translated as submit. Okay, we go to different translation translator. Um, Yusuf Ali submitted. Hmm. All right, let us see who else. Uh, who else? Who else? It's uh, strange that, uh, as I know that, let us see Sahih International. Hold on, make it easier for us. We will look in other website. Because <clears throat> instead of uh, keep changing the translator, maybe we can find them listed easier. Let us see. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we are, I'm just looking to see because I, I saw a correct translation before. We want to find it. All right. We found one who was getting the correct translation. Finally. Uh, we will go to Mohsin Khan. Mohsin Khan. Where is Mohsin Khan? They did not list him here. Look like he is not listed in this website. No problem. We can go to the most, to other website. This is search.com. All right. Let us see what the what it says here. The Arab, the Bedouin. They say we believe. Say you believe not, but only say we have surrender. That is the only correct translation. Do you see it? So Islam does not mean peace. It's a big fat lie. It means surrender. This verse here proving to us that Muslims became Muslims because they surrender to Muhammad not because they believe read with me carefully I'm not saying that it's the Quran saying that the better when they say the Arab they say we believe this is what they say we believe in what we believe in Allah Allah saying to them supposedly say you believe not but you only become a Muslim which means you surrender and here you, you notice this is the clear proof that Islam was not spread by believe, but because he forced them to convert.
in different verse Muhammad he said the same people if you don't convert to Islam I'm going to launch a war on you with warriors who will slaughter you all of you and that explain what happened to those people if we go to chapter 48 verse number 16 48 16 say to the Bedouin who were left behind what do you mean left behind they don't want to join us now you will be you will be called against those who pos pos possess great might and you will be asked to fight them unless you surrender I mean look at the look at the liars here how here the translation coming as surrender not coming as peace or submit do you notice the word surrender here you know what's what what the word surrender here the translation for what the word Muslim the word surrender here is translation for the word Muslim Here it says, Arabs shadidan to Or they became Muslims. What does that mean? Or they surrender. So when the naive ones say that Islam means submit, and I saw many Christians, they keep saying that. And I, what I can do about it? I mean, I keep saying that's not true, that's wrong, but eh, I understand they don't speak Arabic. Muslims, they keep saying that because the purpose of Islam is to fool you. But you have no, uh, I mean, no excuse now after we explain to you with proofs. Guys, did I prove it or not? Did I prove to you or not yet that the word Islam mean? To surrender this is not my even most this is not my translation this Muslim translation so I hope that later we will not see some naive Christians keep saying that Islam and this is the translation of al Mawdudi. the Muslim they like al Mawdudi because he is a new translator and al Mawdudi because he's from a new generation so he tried to fabricate always uh, uh, and defend Islam so you as a Christian after today you have no excuse to keep saying the same stupid mistakes many people they say you see between us uh, uh, Christians there is many ignorant claim knowledge as an example you speak about Islam you will see somebody posting for you a verse from the Old Testament saying that Ishmael he will be a wild man what does Islam have to do with Ishmael you go to any church go to any priest you say you say Islam you he say to you Ishmael what does Ishmael have to do like Sri Lanka I mean Sri Lanka Sri Lanka are children of Ishmael too even Sri Lankan you made them the children of Ishmael <laughs> you know what I mean sometimes I feel like not only Muslims are very naive there's many Christians are naive too they are copy paste a priest one day, once upon the time, he said somewhere that those are the children of Ishmael, and then the, the whole Christian churches they follow. They keep saying, "Where are you get from? Where you got that the Arab? First of all, there's nothing is called Arab. Arab are not a nation. They are not even an ethnic group. They are not a children of somebody whose name is Arab. <laughs> the Israeli are the children of Israel." The Aramaic are the children of Aram. The Arab are not the children of Arab. <laughs> no, my friend, there is many tribes who live in the desert. Anyone who live in the desert, they call them Arab. Arab is not an ethnic. Arab is a word in Aramaic which meant the desert. So when you say Arabia, you are saying the desert. You are not saying a land. You are not naming a land. This is a word in Aramaic for the wild man who live in the desert because he live in a tent. He take a shower once or every two, two, three years if he take a shower. 
so this is have nothing to do even here you see the word the, the, look at this do you see what the word here Bedouin do you see the word Bedouin what is the word Bedouin in the Quran it says here Al Arab here we go in front of you do you see it Arab from Arab Al Arab is not the people why Muhammad will say Al Arab if he is an Arab himself are you getting my point? If Muhammad is an Arab, why he is talking about the Arab? And he called them Al Arab, which means those who live in the desert in the tent. Those are the real Arab. So the real Arab is not an ethnic, is whoever live in the desert in a tent, a wild person who live in like a camping style, moving from place to place, going after the grass so he can feed his animals. So we have a lot of naive people who try to, they, they want to be teachers, but they are teaching you wrong. So remember, if a Europe priest, he says to you that the Arab are the children of Ishmael, tell him where you get this from. Can you show me the verses from the Bible where it says that? Moses, he did marry from a Bedouin women, which means uh, they, they, in Arabic, in, in Aramaic, they are, they are uh, Arab, they are, they are Bedouin. They are, they are, but they are not Arab as a nation. They are Bedouin. Did Moses marry from a Bedouin woman, guys? Did Moses marry from a Bedouin woman? Yes, he did. So why do we say the children of Moses are Arab? <laughs> I'm just going with the same logic. Let us say for the sake of argument, Ishmael, he did marry from a Bedouin woman. Okay, so why the children of Ishmael consider Arab for you but the children of Moses, who he married, a Bedouin woman too, from the Arab desert. Why you don't call the children of Moses Arab? Nobody want to use his brain. I mean, it's it's very tiring to to think. So we just copy paste. It's easier, you know. You know what uh, what most of people they do is like Mr. Bean. You know, Mr. Bean doing the exam. Mr. Bean, many of us is Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, he did not study. He wanna cheat, so he wanna copy what is the next door to him saying. Uh, I remember once I was I was doing exam, and there is a stupid teacher. He hit me. He hit me seriously, very much, because I get him busted always. So in the in the uh, in the exam, uh, in purpose. You know, I was troublemaker, just uh, to be honest with you. So I was like uh, making myself, I put my hand in front of my mouth and making myself as I'm talking or like I'm looking at the guy next to me, or, you know. So the guy, he came to me. He said, I got you. I got you. I said, what, sir? He said, you are, I saw you. I said, so you what? He said, you are cheating. I said, cheating what? I said, I, I saw you. I saw you looking at the guy next to you and you were talking to him. So what are you talking about, sir? The guy, he went and he called the principal. He went and he called the principal. And uh, the principal, he says, okay, take his paper. And that's it. We fire him and he will lose the whole year. That's it. The whole year, I will lose it. Man. And I am relaxing as if nothing happening. So the, the, the principal, he says, are you into, like, do you want to say something? I said, well, I don't know, sir. What are you talking about? The guy next to me in the right is a Muslim. The guy next to me in the left is a Muslim. The guy behind me is a Muslim. The guy in front of me is a Muslim. And today the exam is about Christianity for me. So I'm cheating in what? The principal looked at the teacher because he looked seriously like a fool. All the students around me, they are doing Islamic exam. I am doing a Christian exam. Because everybody will be examined in his religion. So how I'm going to cheat? I will copy the Quran from them to answer the Bible. So the teacher, he looked seriously like a fool. And I got him busted again for the last week in the year. He thought he is get, like, he, he thought he is out of it, you know. But even in the last day of the year, I got him busted again. And he looked seriously like a fool. And everybody started laughing at him. And many of us, we do that too. So we are trying to copy the Muslims what they claim that Muhammad is from Ishmael 
and we spread it in our churches to fool the Christians don't cheat don't cheat using Muslims false teaching all right uh, anyway so here you see even here it says the Bedouin which is the Arab we are left behind so tell them if you don't join us in the religion we are going to kill you and then in the verse after it what happened in chapter 14 in, in, in verse number 14 uh, chapter 49 uh, now after Muhammad he threatened them if you don't convert to Islam I'm going to kill you so what happened they surrender they surrender but now because they converted to Islam but they don't believe in Islam so when they say we believe Muhammad he said to them ah uh ah -uh, I don't you cannot fool me ah uh, I know I know you surrender you did not you just became a Muslim and here you notice with me that Islam as a cult is not based on belief is based on surrendering listen carefully here the one who's saying that is Allah supposedly the God of Muhammad the better when they say we believe now they converted to Islam all right so they surrender to Muhammad say you do not believe say we are Muslims how you can be a Muslim and you don't believe this is what Islam is about all what they care about is just say shahada surrender to the devil you believe you don't believe you obey a clear proof that Islam is a pure cult satanic cult otherwise how you accept somebody to say I am a Muslim but you be he believe not and he is teaching them to say what say we surrender don't say say we are Muslims say don't say we are believers so how Allah is saying to them say we are Muslims if they are not believers that's mean they are not Muslims no they are Muslims because Islam is an act of surrendering is not an act of belief are you getting the point Islam is an act of surrendering to the cult of Muhammad otherwise he will kill you is not an act of belief you believe or not who care you just say Shahada and do what Muhammad he did and he said to you and then you are safe if we go in the hadith we will find Muhammad saying the following if there is any Muslim he claimed to be a cleric or a scholar and you like to call me and talk to me please feel free you're welcome anyone who surrender to the cult of Muhammad he feel you know you, you like to talk to me I will be happy to take you so Muhammad he made it clear you have to surrender to him saying the Shahada is nothing nothing to do with believing in Muhammad it is just a statement of surrendering and we prove it to you from the Quran anyone remember what chapter it says you surrender or we kill you anyone remember who remember who remember What chapter? No, no, it's in front of you. This is a chapter 48, verse number 16. Let me give you the link. So you can save it in your reference. 48, 16. In 49, 49, 14, Muhammad, he thread the same people either you convert to Islam you surrender or I will kill you so please save them because later you might need them when you speak to Abdul all right Let us be serious, guys, in the text because you know I, uh, I, I'm trying to lose, uh, read your text 
if somebody have something important question so you know I mean comedy jokes etc will not help uh, so Muhammad he made it clear that he is the musketeer of Allah and the musketeer of Allah he is sponsored by the musketeer the other musketeer Jibreel and Allah is with him the three musketeers they are going to enforce surrendering on you not believing and this is what we showed you from the Quran so Muhammad he have one target you see here he did not say you believe he says you testify which means you you say all what he want from you you say that there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad and you pay the money to Muhammad and you obey Muhammad and you eat as he eat and you pray as he pray and you face the Qibla the, the, the Kaaba and then then he will maybe he will not kill you do you see what the translation this is Muslim translation not mine does it say here I've been commanded to kill you see here fight is coming from the word uqatil uqatil which means fight to kill from the word qatala which means kill i have been commanded to kill anyone anyone until all mankind until what until they declare not until they believe Do you see it, guys? Uh, Fahim, Fahim, uh, uh, admin, don't uh, don't block Fahim. Fahim, let me ask you a question. You just said that Jesus got screwed naked. Hey, guys, don't block him. Let him. Fahim, you just said that Jesus screwed naked in the cross. Okay, so this is what the Christians believe, right? They put nails in his hands and his feet. Okay. Well, if uh, if uh, if somebody being tortured, that will not make him good for you. Will Muhammad get tortured? Muhammad he lost his tooth. The Arab they made fun of him. They did beat him, and even here he have a pimple in his ass. In the top of that he died by poison like a rat so I want to ask you why in Islam Allah he saved Jesus but he don't save Muhammad are you there Fahim whatever your name are you there who is a Muslim he can answer this question why Allah did not save Muhammad and by the way uh, the last thing Muhammad he did before he died uh, he piss he did not even mention the name of Allah the last thing Muhammad he did and I paused the hate for you many times he asked his wife to give him a dish he piss in it and he died very clear sign that he is a prophet You see, when you are a prophet of God, God he inspire you about anything, shouldn't he? Uh, you, you remember, guys, the story when Allah He sent the angel of death to Musa. Anyone remember the story? Musa. says when the angel of death came to him let us see the hadith Moses he played karate See, we used to go to training together Moses he hit the angel of death and he made his eyes pop out you see it read carefully Abu Huraira reported this is Sahih this is not weak that the angel of death was sent to Moses 
to inform him of his Lord summons okay that's mean that's means Allah before he take the life of a prophet he will inform him that your time has come is that correct guys this is what it says uh, unless the Muslim they want to say to us that Allah he wanted to inform Moses but he don't want to inform Muhammad that would be f funny uh, Muhammad is more important than Moses for the Muslims Muhammad he's more important for Allah from all the prophets so why Allah want to inform Moses but he don't want to inform Muhammad to the point Muhammad he don't know that he is going to die and he asked to piss if the admin they have the hadith of uh, pissing uh, Muhammad before he die he piss post it please so look what happened here Allah he sent the angel to Muhammad to, to Moses and to inform him that he is going to die now soon an hour from now but then he came the angel when he came to Moses Moses he boxed him what the heck Moses a brother he did box uh, the angel of death. And by the way, I was going to die a long time ago. But what happened when the angel of death, he came to me, I used a paper spray. I like, I, we, you know, we are became more civil now. I was thinking to use a different, uh, like a vest, you know, like the one in Sri Lanka. But I said, I don't want to kill the angel. So I used paper spray and the angel, his eyes went blind. So Moses, he did, he boxed. the angel and he knocked out his eye by the way this is a true story if you ask Zach and Nick about this story he will confirm it to you I guarantee you brother sister did the person is name the Kutin prince and he said the story of Musa is very horrible in fact this is true and actually until now the angel of death he don't see correctly because Musa he is a do and he was cheating and he used boxing and he was learning boxing from Brotley. And Ethan Musa used to do boxing better than Muhammad Ali. So when the end of death he came to kill him, Musa he used his normal user as a human to defend himself. So he knocked the angel and he hit him in his eye. And the angel he had nothing to do with it. He cannot do anything because Musa is very aggressive. And by the way, I have a Musa, I have a neighbor, his name is Musa, and he is very aggressive too. Okay. So Musa, he knocked the eye of the angel, he took his eye out. By the way, this is a true story. And Musa refused to die. Okay, Muslims. Muhammad, Muhammad, the last thing he did, he pissed. Aisha, I mean, look at the Muslim translation. It's really hilarious. Aisha uh, relates that the time of the death of Rasulullah, I mean, this, this is a translation. This is Arabic. <laughs> she gave him support with her chest or she said, uh, 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 she said with her lap, he asked for a container to urinate and he urinated they're in, therefore he pass away. I mean, what is the beautiful thing to do and last thing in your life? You have a few seconds to die, and the last thing you do, you piss. Obviously, Allah did not inform Muhammad that you are dying. Muhammad, he thought, if he did not piss now, he will piss in his pant. He was not worried about his death. So here you notice the stories which is proving Muhammad to be a false man. I mean, well, the angel he's beaten, beaten by Moses. And then the angel he went back to Allah. Look at the story here, it became more action. The angel he went back to Allah and he told him, You send me to a slave, he don't want to die. You, you send me to a slave, he don't want to die. Have you ever heard of the Muslim? They say to us that if Allah wanted something, he say B is going to be. Okay, Allah he said, uh, Moses he'd die. Who is Moses to beat the angel? 
how angel who have Muhammad he described angel Jibreel as an example he is you know he 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 blocked the horizon he blocked the horizon how a person like this can be knocked out by Musa's and his eye came out All right Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Uh, by the way, I I, uh, I hope that's before I die. The last thing I will do, I'm going to piss. I mean, I don't want to take my piss with me to the grave. That will piss me off. Fahim Tajwar, you are here. So why you don't answer? Why Allah he informed Musa before he die, and why Allah did not inform Muhammad? Why Allah he saved Jesus as you claim, you Muslims, but he don't want to save Muhammad? Are you saying to us Muslims that Muhammad is not important? Muhammad was tortured for many years by the poison he ate in Khaybar. Why Allah don't want to save Muhammad? At least make him die without torture. Are you there? Is Muhammad important for this? Is Bukhari? This is not Tashish Kebab Hummus. This is Bukhari, brother. Brother. The prophet he was look at says look at says Aisha she said oh Aisha I mean Aisha she exposed all the secret of the prophet the prophet in his element which he died this is not normal day in, in like almost dying used to say used do you know what used mean that guy he was suffering badly he keeps saying oh oh the poison I ate in Khaybar oh, the poison I ate in Khaybar is killing me killing me the poison, the poison I ate in Khaybar. If we bring Zakir Naik to explain this hadith, he will say to you, Brother Sitter, when the prophet before he died, he was all with you to say, The Khaybar is killing me. The poison I ate in Khaybar is killing me. I am hurting. It's here. I hate it. Brother. Yeah, this is what the prophet was saying. He used to say. So, where is Allah? Why Allah he rushed to save Jesus Isa, but he don't want to save Muhammad and he must have an answer Hey, do you know Abraham David Solomon Adam Noah Moses died too? look at this stupid question guys look at this stupid answer Look at this stupid answer actually your answer proven to you to me you are stupid as long all of them they die why Jesus will not die Just to show you the low IQ of this cult. If do you know this is the Abdul talking, not me. When Abdul talk, please be careful. Hey, do you know that Abraham and David and Solomon and Adam and Noah's and Moses they died too? Okay, why? No, no, I do not know. So why Jesus will not die, brother? As long all the prophet dies, who is left? Jesus. Why? Explain to the Christians. Stupid. So he thought by saying this, he will answer this, but he got himself in trouble by saying that. You know what I mean? He thought by saying the sentences that's oh, okay. All the prophets they die, brother. Do you know that, brother? That Adam he died, brother. Do you know that Moses he died too, brother? Okay, now why Jesus did not die, brother? Are you there, uh, Fahim? Fahim, are you married? If you are married, I feel sorry for your wife. However, Fahim, I have a solution for your case. Don't worry about you not being smart or not being wise because in Islam you can order a dish of intelligence and faith from Allah. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? 
Let us help Fahim. You know, we like to help Muslims. According to Muhammad, Muhammad said, not me. That when he, the angels, they came to him and they chop his uh, throat all the way down to his uh, testicles. Uh, they stuffed his chest with dish of faith and dish of wisdom. So Fahim, why you don't try the same recipe, my friend? The only religion who believe That you can stuff wisdom in the knee, in, 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 in the in the vein and the chest and the belly and the stomach of a human being is Islam. Are you there, uh, uh, Fahim? Look at this. Jibreel cut out open the part of his body. The body of who? The body of Muhammad. In case you do not know, Jibreel is a musketeer, yes, but he have a degree in surgery. He is a spe his specialty actually is surgery. He is a surgeon actually. This is why he always in green. So Jibreel, he cut off the chest of the prophet, which is very normal. I mean, that's happened all the time. After he cut off his chest, brother, he took all the material from inside his chest. All the material. What is inside the chest of the Prophet? Fahim, are you there? I'm getting confused, brother. What is the material inside your Prophet chest? What does that mean? And that said, the trunk is empty, so he took off the material. And so how Muhammad is alive now? So now we, we took uh, the, the stomach, we took the liver, we took the heart, we took the lungs, everything is out. So now Muhammad is an empty goof, is a goofy person. So how Muhammad is alive now? Guys, yesterday I wanted to see how much I weighed, right? Like for 400 pounds, something like that. Alhamdulillah. And but yesterday something happened. I I stood in the in the scale and I found myself as not even like a, a you know a, a, a one hundred pound. I said what happened? And then I looked in the mirror, uh, which I don't have at home, and I found that my chest is open all the way down to down there. I cannot say where, and everything is gone. It's gone. And I was scared, like, where they are, where did they go? Where they go, where they go, where they go? I look in the bedroom, I look in the closet, I look everywhere. And then at the end, finally, I found where they are. They were in the laundry machine. Allah Jibreel, Smaskatir, he took the abundant and he washed it with Zamzam water. What wash it with Zamzam water? If him are you there? So if Allah want to make you a holy prophet, he have to wash you by detergent. What is that? By the way, guys, do you like the way I say abundant? Nobody can say that. You know, this is a copyright over it. If you try to say it yourself, you will not be able. I'm telling you from now. Okay? What can huh? Hey, someone tell him I am here. No, you are not here. Where are you? Tell me. Your God, he needed to do wash, do laundry to the chest of the prophet. Why? I thought your God, Allah, he is Almighty. He can say, "Be is going to be." Uh, here we go. Look like Muhammad. The chest was so dirty. What is inside the chest of the prophet? Why we needed to do the surgery and to wash it? Hello. Why we have only four hundred forty-four? Like only four hundred forty-four. I mean, you guys remind me of the Philippines. Now you go to the Philippines. Uh, there's in the province. I uh, was taking the bus, and the guy there he said to me, "Sir, I have to pay you back." I gave him like uh, I don't know what 
uh, uh, money and he said I have to pay you back 44 pesos so now I have 44 and uh, 444 like only 444 like at least make it 445 like and by the way we have a give out a washing machine for the material in your chest for those who they are watching us okay give out we will give out a washing machine you will need it i mean your chest is full of garbage obviously 44 Do we have any uh, Muslim? Yeah, we will give a washing machine made by Allah. And detergent, detergent, that uh, it's very hard to an Arab to speak English, man. I mean, what this kind of what kind of language is detergent? I mean, <clears throat> you know, we go to the store to buy uh, uh, to wash your like. So you say, I want shampoo. The guy in the store, he said to you, uh, what kind of uh, shampoo? You say, uh, shampoo. Okay, but there is, sham I mean, there's many kinds. There's for, for cats, for dogs, for human, for children. What kind of sham shampoo? I'm telling you, I want shampoo. What's wrong with you? So Muhammad here, Allah, he sent him his own shampoo. It is Zamzam, brother. Is it a beautiful brother? There's no prophet in the whole universe. He got such a treatment. The first plastic surgery for boobs is done for the prophet. By the way, this way it says in the Quran. In the Quran it says, "Wa sharahna laka sadrak." That's true. Read it. Uh, this is a bad translation. Let us change the translator. <sighs> what? Have we not caused your bosom to delight? <laughs> I mean, what a funny translation. I mean, those Muslims, when they translate, they make you die laughing. We made your bosom what? What the what? With delight? We make your bosom. Hey, this is a better one. Haven't we expanded your breast? What? The Prophet Allah he did for him a surgery for his bosom, and he made them expand. Hello. If you are a female and you are thinking to do breast surgery, which is silly, don't do it. I don't advise you. Uh, uh, I think you are just trying to copy the Prophet. Everything is found in the Quran. The first, the first person who did the plastic surgery long before those, uh, you know, they go and make surgery in Thailand, you know. Uh, like a guy, he want to change the gender, he want to have boobs, he want to have an uh, ass. Uh, uh, Muhammad, he beat, did beat them all. In the old English poetry, breast is also used for males. My friend, this is not English poetry. We are reading Arabic. I mean, you guys are funny. This is a translation for the Arabic. This is not English. You, you are reading English. For me, I'm not. Alam nashrah halaka sadrak. Never, never, never think about what we say to you 
what we show you in the screen about it is English this is not English this is just a stupid translation so whatever the translation is saying it have nothing to do with the original so if you want to judge what is the language you go and learn the language now but here in this verse by the way there is something very fishy it says and we taken off your burden does it say that guys Does it say that we took off your burden? Or I'm a Muslims, am I lying? Does it say there that we took off from you your burden? What is the burden Muhammad he have in his breast? Any Muslim? anyone and this burden is so heavy to the point it's breaking his back it's not saying pressed heavily upon your back no 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 it says which breaking your back so it's so heavy burden what is that so the burden of muhammad is in his boobs in his breast and this burden is so heavy to the point it's breaking his back what it is any Muslim can tell us any Muslim uh, scholar he feel like he wanted to call me Same to you, David. He is risen, my friend. Anyone? Who is a Muslim scholar? He have the knowledge and the courage to give me a call. Hello? Anyone? So here we, we notice that this Quran match perfectly with the silly story here we see in this here report by Muhammad that the three angels and again why three angels by the way any Muslim knows why okay let's go back a little bit in the text three person came to him by the way, here it says in dreamy while he was sleeping. It doesn't say that. This is false translation. So three person came to him. Muslims, why three person? Why always the three musketeers are involved? You Muslims, you are against the Trinity. You don't believe in the Trinity. But as you see, everything in this cult is based on the Trinity. Jibreel, Muhammad, Allah. Even when they want to make a surgery for Muhammad, he got a three person. They come to him. Three person who? Who are they, those three persons? Is Muhammad trying to say he is the same as Abraham? Three, they came to him. And he must have an answer. Who are they, those three, and why they are three? If the one who did the surgery is Jibreel, and by the way, I have, I have, uh, I, I have like uh, Jibreel, he sent me this selfie. I wanted to share it with you. During the time he was doing the surgery for the Prophet. It's, uh, he, he did not ask me to publish it, but I mean, we are friends. I think he will forgive me. So uh, Jibreel in this selfie, he come to the Prophet. And uh, you know, uh, uh, here you see uh, uh, Jibreel, he is coming with the tools. I mean, he did not come without tools. That would be silly. I mean, he brought all the tools with him. Like right away, he start chopping his chest. All right? And then Jibreel, right away, he don't waste his time. I mean, Jibreel, he, don't, he don't have time. He have Allah knows how many surgery he have to do a day. And then... Jibreel, he cut the chest of the Prophet. 
and he start taking off all the material inside the 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 stomach of the prophet muhammad and his bosom and again uh, guys this is a selfie uh, by prophet uh, by uh, by by jibril uh, because jibril by the way he have a phone at that time i mean come on they knew they have they are advanced they are be even like it took us like a thousand of years to get a cell phone to be made, but Jibreel, you have it. Okay, so Jibreel, he cut all the you know, and he got it out. And here, here, if you notice with me here, this is Zim 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 Zim, you know, Zim Zim or water. Uh, or you, the, the, the Jibreel, he cannot wash it in different water, by the way, he have to use Zim Zim, otherwise. The prophet he might die. It's very dangerous. Don't try. Don't try to uh, do this yourself. Don't do a disclaimer. Don't disclaimer. Don't do that at home. Hmm? Anyone? Elijah, a Muslim you want to debate? Okay, Elijah, as long you claim to be a Muslim and you want to debate, why we cannot find the name of Elijah in the Quran? What is the name of Elijah in the Quran? As long you want to debate. Do you know? Or you are just an idiot. Your name is Elijah. Where is Elijah in the Quran? And what is his name? Don't tell me ZB. You are a Christian? Oh, okay. I thought you are saying a Muslim. I don't know. You made me excited for nothing. I thought we have a plastic surgery to do now. Any Abdul? So, brother, here you notice in this beautiful selfie, may Allah bless you, Jibreel, for taking this selfie. Uh after uh, Jibreel, he washed all the material in the chest of the Prophet. Then he brought a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. I have to be honest with you, and I have to tell you how I learned a lot about Islam. I did not go to school. I got one of those dishes. There was a delivery going to the house of the Prophet. Have... 10 dishes of uh, uh, camel urine, uh, two dishes of wisdom, and two dishes of faith. I stole one dish of wisdom. I have to confess my sin. And I ate it, and right away I learned everything. Have you ever heard? Of any religion in the world, they believe that wisdom and faith they come in dishes. Muslims, is that true? The three musketeers, Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad. Muhammad, obviously, he is not ready to join the musketeer yet. So Allah, he needed to do some adjustment to Muhammad. As the Quran says, Allah, he needed to do a surgery for his breast and he made them bigger and he cleaned the inside. And then after he cleaned the inside, he did install dish of wisdom and dish of gold in the chest of the prophet. And that explained, by the way, why the prophet is super smart. Because look at this. This is story. Muhammad is saying it after he had the surgery so 
if he is so smart to the point he come with such a story after the surgery so how foolish Muhammad was before the surgery are you getting my point guys this is Muhammad after the surgery after they install a dish of wisdom look here look 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 look, look. and then and then a gold tray gold it's, it can't be silver I mean I, come on Allah he will not send dishes uh, I, by the way still I have the, the golden tray with me here after because I told you I stole one a golden tray containing a golden ball it's not only a golden tray there's a golden dish inside it I mean look out look at the technique and the elegant and like you feel like you're watching uh, 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 like uh, you know I'm, this is a true story uh, this is a French restaurant with etiquette so a golden go uh, uh, tray containing a gold ball full of belief full of what of belief I was expecting to say full of soup I was expecting to to, to see uh, full of uh, uh, you know I mean a, a dish full of belief any uh, any Muslim there? So what we understand from here that Muhammad he don't have a belief, and Allah he wanted to fix that. If there is any Muslim he have objection for what I just said, Allah wanted to fix the problem which Muhammad he is suffering from. He don't have a belief. Any Muhammadan? Fahim, he want to call me? No, he don't want to call me. He don't dare. He's a potato. The Muslims have a chance to have respect from the angels. What is this? What does this have to do with respect? I mean, look at this Fahim. By the way, we have two Fahim. Two guys have their, their name is Fahim. I don't know what's happening today. Fahim means supposedly wise, smart. I don't see smart between you. What does this have to do with my question? You tell I tell you that Allah will install install a dish of faith and believe in the chest of Muhammad. Says this is respect. What respect? What does this have to do with respect? Change your diet. Hello. Anyone? Hmm. Anyway, so then a golden tray containing a golden ball full of belief and wisdom. Mean. I love it when it's cocktail. I was so worried that it's full of belief alone. I was extremely worried but not only believe wisdom come with it so Muhammad can we say this was 50 50 like wisdom and faith are they mixed together hey brother can we use vinegar is that a salad of Allah Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? Hmm? Hold on, hold on. I just remember I left the dish of wisdom in the table since last last night. I mean, I don't know if it's damaged by now. You cannot leave wisdom outside. I mean, are you kidding me? If you did not convert to Islam, well, it's your chance now. Obviously, this is a true story. This is 
a true story. Anyone? Since last night, uh, CP, you need a wife. Uh, if I have a wife, she would eat it. I mean, is that will help? No. She would eat it, so she would be smarter than me. And I don't like that. Hello? Do you know how much cost me to get this dish of wisdom? I have to climb the wall uh, in Mecca, in the house of the Prophet. I go to the kitchen, risk him myself. Uh, Muhammad there, he have a cat. A very wild cat crazy cat she have only one tooth and going inside the kitchen taking the dish of wisdom uh, by the way I did not take the dish of belief I took only the, the part of wisdom because I don't want to be a Muslim to be honest with you I wanted to, to be wise by the way how you can be wise a Muslim at the same time I mean is it wise to believe in such a stupid story Any Muslim here? Is it wise to believe in such a story? And now, after Muhammad, he had this surgery, he is telling this story, so now suppose he's smart. So after he became smart, he's saying this, that this has happened to him. Obviously, he's, he's getting more stupid now. And then, brother, they brought and then Jibreel stuffed his chest, stuffed his chest and his throat, blood vessels. Hold on, hold on. Do you see science here? Blood vessels. Translation. Do you see the word blood vessels? Allahu Akbar. Now they may, we will make an article about this. Blood vessels? How they knew there's a blood vessels? When Muhammad, he went to the hospital to do blood test. Do you know what they got in the blood? 50% wisdom and 50% belief. There's no blood in the blood. Anyone? As you see, Muslims have no answer. This 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 cult is built by three: Jibril, Muhammad, and Allah. And uh, all the stories are stupid fiction stories. You know, you have to be just a kid to believe in such a story. Let, so, seriously, you have to be a kid to believe in such a story. And then the story continue. I mean, the story is amazing. Then Jibril, uh, Muhammad, uh, Jibril, he took him. And uh, uh, he went up to the heaven in the sky. Anyone, anyone knows what he found in the sky when Muhammad he went to heaven, brother? Who knows? We have a lot of rain here. I hope we will not lose the electricity. Uh, it looks like we will have a tornado, tornado soon. Each time I say Zamzam, -zam, tornado come. A lot of rain. And it's very warm. Extremely warm. Hey, uh, Muslims, what happened after the Prophet, he, this surgery? Look what happened. Then he closed it. I'm so glad he closed his chest. I mean, imagine the prophet is flying all the way to the sky and his gas is leaking. <laughs> that will be horrible. So he closed it. That's a good news. I mean, everything is done perfectly in a professional way. Then he closed it. Close what? The, the translator he put for you between two brackets, the chest, brother, the chest. Don't be stupid fool. Do you think this is talking about the gas hole? No. 
the chest he closed the chest because now after he finished the surgery he opened what he opened the chest hello I mean naive people then he skinned with him in the heaven and the word and knocked me one on one door he he arrived at the first door of the heaven the heaven have doors do real doors you knock at them book book and then the ones that guards behind the door they said who is it what the heck This is the door of the heaven. In the door of the heaven, somebody tell them about Amazon.com. You can get the camera, you put it in your door, and you can see who is on the other side. The angels of Allah, they are angels, those they are the guard. They do not know who is behind the door. Who is it? Uh, Jibril, he said. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Jibril. I mean, look at the answer, sharp, short, and straight to the point. He did not say, uh, um, uh, you know, Jibril, that's it. Because he's very famous. This is Jibril, brother. He's very well known. Okay. They said, who is accompanying you? Aha. Here, things is getting more complicated look 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 let me let me make a drawing for you because most of you are not too much uh, good in imagination let us make a drawing here you know that i'm very uh, i'm very good in arts you know we have to admit you know uh, actually i was invited to many uh, museum and etc like they, everybody want to copy my art so here let us see uh, this is the heaven of allah the heaven of Allah, brother. Here, there is a door. All right. Here, there's a door, brother. Big door, big door. Jibreel, he was here. In this side, let's make him a different color. We'll make him orange, orange. And maybe orange is not clear on the screen. Uh, let us make him. Uh, if we make him white because he's white, supposedly, well, that will not show. Okay, we make him red. Jibril was here. Jibril is big, by the way, very, very big. And Muhammad is so small, very small, like you know, like a mosquito. So the angels, when they read, he said, it's me. Here you need to ask yourself the question. How they knew that there is somebody with him? Mm. How they knew? Huh? The only way to know that he have somebody with him, either Muhammad making too much noise, or they have little angels in the top of the door and they can see who is behind. If they have somebody in the top, well, how come they did not recognize Jibreel and they ask him, who is this? I don't know. I mean, this story is really weird. If there is any Muslim, he can come with the explanation for what happened here. I mean, they are angels. They can see through. Angels of Allah. Hey, by the way, guys, I have copyright over it. Hold on. I know many of you that were doing, making money out of me. I know you. You think I don't know? I know everything you do. Uh, let me uh, put uh, copyright over it. Okay. So you cannot say it and make uh, make money. Unbelievable. EB. Mostly now it's copyrighted. That's it. You cannot try. Try to say it. Try. Brother. By the way, somebody sent me uh, sent me a, a, a picture of uh, someone. He have a, he have a, in his. Uh, I, I don't want to show the license plate, but it says CP zero zero seven. James Point. James Point. 
<laughs> CP is, no, actually, it says zero 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 seven CP. Zero zero seven CP. <clears throat> um, anyway, so uh, Muslims, how come they are angels but yet do not know who is behind the door? I mean, what is the what a story? It's really, really amazing, beautiful, brother. True story. The, you see, the the, the most uh, uh, like uh, attraction I find in the prophet that he tells stories which amazing, very beautiful. All right. Now it's getting more excited later. Anyone knows what Muhammad he find in the heaven? Let us let us see how many of you will guess. Anyone can figure out what Muhammad next in his trip he will find? But CP, you cannot really tell me that Jesus created the universe. So what you believe that? Why? Why? What? What this guy he said? So what is that you believe? No, I can't tell you that Jesus created the universe because. Uh, he is the creator. Even the Quran confirmed that Jesus created from the mother bird. Jesus, he gave eyes to the blind man, and that is an act of a creation. Is that correct, guys? When you, when somebody cannot see, he did not give him medicine, and he used the method which is God. He created Adam, mud. The mud is exactly how God he created Adam, as it's reported. So Jesus used mud to give eyes to the blind man. So yes, I believe that Jesus, he created the universe. You don't like it? Yeah, deal with it. Now we go back here. When Muhammad, he went inside the first door, and then he go in his trip, brother. He found a discovery, which you cannot find in Disney a land or even in a, a, a discovery channel he found their rivers anyone remember the rivers names anyone remember the rivers names Muhammad he said to the prophet there's two rivers oh Jibreel 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 said what are those rivers he said to him Jibreel answer these are the source of the Nile and the Euphrates. If, 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 if. The Niles and the Euphrates is coming from the sky. No comment. And this is after the Prophet had a plastic surgery and they installed a dish of wisdom. And faith in his chest. Hello. By the way, I don't know why people. Sometimes I tell them stories, nobody believe me, but they believe the prophet. Let me tell you a story I did uh, uh, in my last trip to Alaska and Brazil. So when I was in Alaska and Brazil, I crossed the Congo. And I found the Nile River coming right away from uh, uh, Ecuador. And you know, in Ecuador, the beautiful thing about it there, it's very cold. It's extremely cold. And you know, I played in the snow in the Ecuador, and uh, I ate uh, uh, from uh, 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 you know, like there, there they have hummus in Ecuador. And then you know, in my trip uh, uh, during the, uh, the going to the borders of Ecuador. I crossed the border to China, and then I found the Chinese people in China. A lot of Chinese, unbelievable. I mean, I saw, I never saw Chinese as much as you see it in China. It's a lot Chinese, eh, like everywhere. You don't believe me, don't you? That there is Chinese in China? Believe me, believe me. True, true story. So, and then you know, I crossed in China in the borders of uh, Ecuador, and then, brother, I found myself in Las Vegas. And right there, I found a hotel. 
and where the rivers of Euphrates and the river of Nile coming from the fountains. Now, Muslims, if my story is a stupid, why this story in the front of you in the screen makes sense? Why you believe in Muhammad's story? You don't believe in my story. Uh, uh, 32 I don't care what reality you are talking about because obviously this is stupid because uh, even even science confirm that when you die you became dust you are dust you are sand hmm. you believe it or not and why you don't create the universe yourself mr. atheist here we go the, the 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 silly atheists they created a machine i think it was in a, a scandinavian country one of them i think sweden somewhere like they 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 spent hundreds of millions of dollars to create what it's called the big bang and after all the money they spend they get screwed they didn't even create a zucchini you create a universe what are you make a big bang brother i want you to make big bang every day we are waiting for your Big Bang. Yes, yeah, Switzerland, Switzerland, we are right. You know, Switzerland, by the way, for me as an Arab, it's a Scandinavian country because I learned my geography from the Quran. And if the Prophet, he said Switzerland is in Canada, he is right, and he no way we will say he, this is not true. Here we go. The Prophet says Euphrates River and the Nile River, they come from the sky. Who dare to say it's not true? Who dare? Do you? Okay, go to Pakistan and say this is a lie. Go, just see. Go in Pakistan and you will see the mercy of Allah will come upon you right away. Go in Bangladesh, brother, and say this is stupid. Go to Indonesia, brother, and say this is garbage. This is true. Proving by the scientifically proving to be true. Uh, Kathy, she is asking me to tell my story again. Uh, I, uh, Kathy, uh, Kathy, sorry, I apologize. Uh, uh, I cannot repeat the same lie twice. <laughs> this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. Muhammad, when he could not repeat the same lie twice, what happened? Anyone remember? He told them, Allah make me forget the Quran, but Allah will give me something better or similar. What? 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 Me? That's beautiful. He can't repeat the same lie twice. I mean, it's a fabricated. What verse is this? Chapter 2, 1, 0, 6. No, don't delete the Muslim names. Nobody deleting Muslim names. Who is deleting Muslim names? Let the Muslims speak, guys. Don't... Uh, 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 anyone who use bad language, you block him. If somebody is just saying things against me, as long as he's calling me names, no problem. But if he start insulting others, then just give him time out. If you repeat that, then block him. He's a Christian, he's a Hindu, he's a Jew, doesn't matter. Don't treat the Muslim differently, please. They are poor people, need our help. And we are here to help them. Any Muslim? Anyway, you know, to make the story short, the Prophet, he found now a discovery that the Nile River and Euphrates, uh, they are uh, coming from heaven. And by the way, the prophet, he he discovered that under the Euphrates, anyone remember what there is under the Euphrates River? So did the universe always exist or it become to be? The universe, the way you know it, for sure it's created. 
the universe we are inside you know God he created us and whatever is around us I mean you are silly do you have answers for yourself for what you are saying because even what you claim to be the Big Bang is a theory it's a stupid theory you see you know you, you a human being is very foolish it's very stupid if I say to you 200 years ago there is time will come and somebody can speak to you from China and you hear him in USA you will you will accuse me to be crazy and you will send me to a hospital is that correct guys because you cannot comprehend not because it's not true so if somebody came to you with something beyond your knowledge and you cannot prove him wrong now you are doing the same you are doing the same as the Muslims but both of you are the opposite as an example, the atheist, they say we used to be monkeys and we became a human. We used to be apes. The Muslim, they say that the monkeys used to be Jews. <laughs> if I say to you, a while ago, there is uh, something called waves, radio waves. You will laugh at me. How that can be? How you can transform my my voice through millions of miles? How you can be in the spaceship yet I can see your image here down and I can even hear you? You will take me to a crazy hospital and you might even stone me. This is exactly what you are doing, because you cannot comprehend God, so you come with your own fictions. You are not even fighting God with the truth. You are fighting Him with fictions. So you say that God is fiction, but just yourself, you have a fiction. Atheists, they believe in fiction, not in science. I never saw an atheist he believe in science. They believe in fictions. The same as Muhammad and his followers. So now, do we have any comment from the Muhammadan? Any Mohammedan have something to say? Dak 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 wins. What Dak wins? What is that? What Dak wins? You mean Darwin's? Darwin's the one who put a black man in a cage to prove that he is a monkey, N proving that you your your big boss, your scientist, the one you call him scientist, is an idiot. He captured a black man, free man, human being. He put him in a cage to prove that he is a monkey. That is your stupid science. Whoever this guy is, I mean, this is stupid. You see, who is this guy? I mean, you, now you are following this guy. This guy, he is teaching you what happened. Uh, anyway, we don't want to. We don't want an atheist to take us away from our topic. We can make a topic specifically for the atheist, and we can spank them every day. However, Mister Atheist, do you like to call me? I want to give you a chance to call me. Do you like to call me? Do you like to call me? But be careful. I will not be merciful with you. I will spank you hardly. So, Senos, do you dare to have to call me live right now and prove to me that you atheist have any ground? Do you dare? Do you dare to call me right now? Are you thinking? No, it's very easy to debate with atheists. Just watch. He is dead now. Yeah, so he's just here coming to disturb us in our topic. Very fake people. Atheism is racist. It's literally racist. Based on racism. That we are not from one man. 
that white are different people from black and black are different people from Asian racism is deeply involved in atheism secondly all of atheism is based on theories not on science they cannot explain anything what they call it science is a fiction it's a stupid you see I, I, I we agree that there is like a, a invention technology etc but this has nothing to do with the creation they can create nothing they bring a DNA and they say we can grow from the DNA okay what about you don't use DNA I want you to create nothing from nothing the same as you do with the Big Bang you the the, the, the Big Bang is your God I want you to make a Big Bang here we go you made the machine cost you hundreds of millions of dollars where is your new world I want you to put nothing inside the Big Bang machine and the funny they use a machine to make the Big Bang so how you can make something by using a machine you should use nothing because the Big Bang is about nothing I mean do you see the stupidity even the practice of their science is a stupid because if the Big Bang happened without a machine why you need a machine to big to make the Big Bang are, are you getting my point guys <laughs> <laughs> if you deny the machine because if the machine will create a big bang it's mean the machine became the creator which means you just to prove that something have to be designed intelligent design creating something you know what i mean the machine is intelligent design so if the machine can create something for you and that is the big bang that means the machine itself is god this is time because this is intelligent design you will not go in the space and you will find a machine there <laughs> i mean uh, it's good to be an atheist i mean it's good to be an atheist uh, by the way once i debated an uh, an atheist and he he won the debate uh, i have to admit he cornered me and i do not know brother what to do he asked me one question just one question he destroyed me in one question brother he said to me christian prince Do you like banana and you know I was like naive I said yeah I should not say that the second I said I like banana he got me busted he said see your origin is a monkey And honestly, I do not know what to say. I was like, uh, what I would say to him, uh, huh? He got me. He got me red-handed. If you are not a monkey, why you eat banana and why you like it? Explain to us. And Christian Prince was looking around him, like looking for a monkey to help him. However, Christian Prince, he found a monkey to prove to him that uh, monkeys, uh, uh, you know, uh, let us go here. Let us get the monkey story. And this is what I find that between the Muslims and the, and, and the atheists, they share a lot of things. You remember the hadith where the Muslims claim that monkeys are Muslims and they practice Sharia law. Here we go, atheist. I'm giving you some help. This is a monkey who converted to Islam. And that explained to us that, yes, brother, all of us, we are from one kind. 
Otherwise, how monkeys, they knew Quran and they pray to Allah and they practice Sharia accord justice. And by the way, I want to advise all of you, don't ever date a chimpanzee. Chimpanzee female are very well known not to be trustworthy. If you want to get married from a monkey, marry from different tribe, not from the chimpanzee. They cheat. The chimpanzee female, while her husband was sleeping over her arm under the tray, and I was there by the way, another chimpanzee came and he had a big, huge banana in his hand. And he said to the chimpanzee, <laughs> and the chimpanzee female, she could not resist the big banana. It was really big. So the chimpanzee monkey, female monkey, she would draw her arm from under the husband and she went behind the tree and I cannot tell you the rest. Sorry. I mean, I'm my mom, she will kill me if I tell you the rest. But you can close your eyes and you can imagine what happened. Then the chimpanzee female, she came back and she inserted her arm under her husband, hoping he will not notice. And he did not, by the way. He was snoring like a mule. But then the male monkey, he started sniffing his wife. Always, you know, we sniff, you know. You know, like, you see, this is the proof, additional proof that we and monkeys are from one family. I, I'm, I'm trying to help the atheist. He sniffed his wife and he smelled sperm. And he's like, right away, like, what? Like, what? Like, ha, ha, what? Ima like, imagine yourself, you are a chimpanzee and you notice that. What would happen to you? So he starts like, ha, 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 jumping and screaming. And he was saying, takbir, takbir, you know, in, in, in the language of the monkeys for sure. And then all the monkeys came. And the, the big uh, caliphate of the monkey, he said, what, what's, what's up? What's up? Oh, companion of Allah, the monkey, he said, uh, which means my wife, she was cheating with the etc. etc. monkey because he gave her a big banana. They took the female monkey and they practiced Sharia law on her and they stoned her. And if you don't believe me, I swear by Allah, I saw that with my eyes. And this is how the Muslims and, and, and the atheists, they share, they share things together. Guys, why are you are laughing? So, so, so some respect. So please show some respect. I have only 660 like. I mean, hey guys, our show is the best comedy show ever in history. <laughs> Only 660 like and 23 dislike. Unbelievable. I mean, <clears throat> I respect all the lies of the Prophet. I respect all his lies. But, you know, I, I was thinking one day like to, to date a chimpanzee or something. She was beautiful, by the way. And the, the beautiful thing about her, she can grab anything for free. I mean, you go to the, you want to eat? And she don't need, need to do to pay your wife chimpanzee she jump in the restaurant she grab whatever and she who, who going to chase her nobody and we go behind the bushes and we eat sandwiches like a uh, uh, uh you know uh, a shish kebab or you know we eat uh, uh whatever if you marry a chimpanzee she will be the best wife she do shoplifting and nobody will charge her to go to jail. You take your chimpanzee with you, and chimpanzee will do shoplifting. Alhamdulillah. Any uh, Muslim have a comment? So as you see, Islamic stories, all of it is authentic and true stories, and it makes sense. 
I don't see here anything doesn't make sense. Did you see anything that don't make sense? I mean, did you guys see anything don't make sense? No. Oh, all of those things is, is is reality. It's the same as the Big Bang of the atheist. How many of you here, here is first time in in this program? If there's any of you is first time here. Are you first time? If you are first time, I advise you to leave because then you will become addicted and then you will come every day. I'm telling you, I'm warning you because our stories is very, very attractive. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, once a lady, she take, I, I, that was in Pal Talk, not here. She said to me, because of you, I'm going to divorce with my husband. I said, what? Who is this? This guy is the, the name in my pal talk is an is a guy. He he always come to my chat room. But the one is talking, obviously, she is the wife. I said, why you are saying that? She said, my husband is addicted to you. He don't talk to us. He come from work. He sit in the computer. He don't want to talk to anyone. He don't want to take the dinner with us. He want to eat in the table in front of the computer. Please do something. So I told the guy from now on. You don't stay in my uh, program maximum two hours. After that, I will kick you out. And in Paltok, you can't do that. You know, you cannot stay. You can you can bounce him. Not like here. Here, if you block somebody, still he can watch. Sadly, we cannot help you here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, so do we have any? Abdul want to say something? Any Abdul want to do something? Say something. Your 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 opinion is needed. No, Abbas was a driving. Sorry, <laughs> it was not Abbas. Any uh, any Abdul? Huh? Do we have any Abdul? Any uh, any Muhammad? I want to say something. I mean, sometimes I feel like a homeless keeps saying any Abdul, any Abdul. I mean, why everybody get Abdul except me? Nobody want to talk to me because they knew they cannot make it. They are short in knowledge, short of intellect, short of intelligence, and short even in faith. You see, they don't have faith that they can debate me and win. This is the point. If they have faith, that they can debate me and when they will do it but they have faith that is going to be the opposite they knew they will be destroyed this is why they stay between behind the, the, the bushes and they don't dare to talk to me anyway guys i'm not going to stay here long i might go later at night today live again do you want me guys to come back? You, what do you think? Should I come back later? Okay. Well, I will try my best to come back uh, because I have to do some phone calls. So you know, like uh, uh, most of Middle Eastern, uh, they are uh, they go by the Eastern calendar, which is the Orthodox calendar. So they are celebrating the Easter now. Uh, so I want to make some phone calls, speaking to some people, and um, uh, he's risen, absolutely. And again, I remind you, don't forget to watch uh, the holy, uh, the holy uh, uh, light which come from the empty tomb of the Messiah. Amazing miracle, beautiful miracle. Come every every year, in in the according to the Orthodox calendar, and the light come. It's amazing. It's hard to describe for you. You can you can uh, you can uh, search uh, you can search in YouTube for the videos, and you will find a lot of those videos. But you can search for the one uh, which is today. All right, the miracle of the holy fire, the light, etc. So it's something very beautiful, an amazing miracle. Nobody can explain. Happen every year. In, again, this is why I consider the Orthodox calendar is, is the correct one because this miracle happened only according to the Orthodox calendar, which is the Eastern calendar. Uh, 
otherwise I don't make a difference between uh, you know Eastern or or Western but when it's come to the calendar I believe that the their calendar is the most accurate all right because this miracle is supported uh, it's amazing it's so beautiful go watch it and enjoy it uh, and I will try later to come on air uh, maybe by night time so don't forget to subscribe and join us and don't forget to download my videos all of them they are for free always download my videos as much as you wish I don't keep my videos on my channel my videos are not made for me they are made for you so you can share them you can educate people in your church and your family with, with people you know in, in YouTube post it for everyone get the blessing of the Lord by guiding him and showing him the truth what we say here may be funny uh, maybe uh, it's kind of a comedy but this is not the purpose this is not the purpose a smart teacher who make the student enjoy the class and this is exactly what I do I don't want you to be yawning I don't want you to feel bored bored and here the class is over and still you guys you want me to stay so we are successful in this field very much this is the purpose of this is to give you education and yet you enjoy your time so enjoy your time in a better way after we finish with the Lord don't forget to read the gospel for it is the best book to read the best time to spend it is the Lord wisdom not my words I am no one you don't even know who I am I am NOT a qualified to be a person who teach wisdom the Lord is the best and the only companion you should have in your life the only one you can trust it's not me it's not a priest it's not a Pope it's not a bishop all men are sinners and no one can be trusted the Lord my friend is the best friend for you he is your Lord he is your Savior he is your friend keep the company of the Lord you will never regret it you trust a man you are a fool you are just a fool never trust a man trust the Lord only so I advise you all don't forget at least to read some of the gospel every day whatever you can it's give you spirit strength and will always protect your family you and your wife and your children's your family will be better stronger and tied together the more you stay away from the gospel the more your family will be broken because simply you don't have anything to tie you together to gather you together the Lord always is our cover our shelter and there's no shelter that better than him so I want to say thank you he is risen he is our Lord he is a glorious and by him we are victorious and nobody can or dare to debate us Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again thank you